What's going on, Odoers? Welcome back. Let's start with a simple distinction. What makes something a location and what makes something a warehouse? Think of a location like any spot where a product can physically sit, for example, a shelf, a freezer, an aisle, a staging area, or even a customer location. If a product can be placed there, it's a location. For example, a walk-in freezer that stores ice cream, that's a location, not a warehouse. Locations help structure and organize the flow of incoming and outgoing goods inside of larger spaces. Now, a warehouse, that's different. A warehouse is a full physical building with its own address, like your main storage facility. A good rule of thumb, one warehouse equals one physical address. Most warehouses include multiple zones, such as an inbound, storage, and outbound areas. And inside of these areas are many locations to help keep your operations running smoothly. In Odoo, these locations follow a clear hierarchical structure. For example, if you have a location like Warehouse Stock Zone A, that's a child location inside of the warehouse stock. Think of it as a tree. The warehouse at the top with locations branching down into more detailed levels. So, with that foundation covered, let's jump into our Odoo database to see how warehouses and locations work. Before we track locations in Odoo, we need to make sure the storage locations feature is turned on. To enable it, we're just gonna click configuration at the top, followed by settings, and then we're gonna scroll to the very bottom to our warehouse section, and here we just wanna make sure storage locations is ticked and enabled. Now, let's take a look at the different locations within my warehouse. I can get there two different ways. I could click this locations link directly under storage locations, or we could click back to configuration at the top and then click the locations option. This page shows every location in my database. Every location with the location type internal or transit is considered my stock. If we look at the naming structure, we have warehouse stock shelf one. You'll see that each row represents a specific storage spot inside of the warehouse. Locations like shelf one and the others listed are the child location, meaning they're more detailed storage areas within the larger warehouse stock location. Now, let's say I wanna create a new location specifically for our popular Stealthy Wood mug. I'll start by clicking new in the top left corner and on the location form, I'm just gonna put favorite. Then directly below that in the parent location field, I'm just going to select our warehouse stock. We're choosing warehouse stock since that's the main storage area that contains all internal locations. Next, in the additional information section, we have the location type. We have a full drop down with a bunch of different options from vendor, virtual, customer, inventory loss, production, and transit. But for this use case, we're going to keep it set as internal. And that's it. Our new location is created. If you'd like more information about the additional fields on this page, feel free to review the documentation, which I'll make sure to link down below. All right, let's move on to location types. I'll use the breadcrumbs to click back to our locations page. And right off the bat, we can see our new location created right there. And if we remove this internal filter, wow, there's a lot more locations visible now. Each location type helps Odoo understand where products actually are and how they should be handled. It also tells us where items are coming from, whether it's from vendors, customers, production, and more. It's also worth noting that Odoo only includes products stored in the internal locations and transit locations when calculating inventory valuation. A customer location is where products appear after they're sold. Once an item reaches this type of location, it's no longer considered in stock. A transit location, like physical locations or inner warehouse transit, is used to track goods moving between warehouses or between different company addresses. Then we also have locations such as production and inventory loss. These act as counterpart locations to consume or create stock. Raw materials for manufacturing are consumed through production locations and the finished product is created there as well. Damaged goods, on the other hand, are sent to inventory loss, aka scrap locations, which record inventory losses automatically. Last but not least, let's talk about warehouses. We're gonna head back to configuration at the top and select warehouses. 
Now this page shows me where all of my existing warehouses are listed. So when would a company need to create a new warehouse? Typically, they'll need to create a new warehouse when they're opening up a new shop or setting up a new distribution center or just adding another storage facility at a different address. To see how this works, I'll click new in the top left corner to create a new warehouse for Stealthy Wood. And we're going to name this warehouse Pop Up Shop. And in the short name field, we're just going to put Pop. Since each warehouse must have its own unique address, I need to assign one right here. The company address is selected by default, so I'll click into the address field and choose the Stealthy Wood pop-up store that we created earlier. I can also use the internal link arrow to the right of this to open that direct contacts page. And this address becomes the warehouse reception location and will appear on all documents tied to this warehouse, ensuring accurate information about where products come from. And there you have it. You're now fully up to speed on the fundamentals of warehouses and locations in Odoo. We covered how locations help organize where products physically sit, how warehouse structures keep operations flowing, how different location types behave, and how we create both new locations and entire warehouses with proper addresses. Understanding these basics gives you a solid foundation for navigating Odoo inventory with confidence. You all did great today. Odooers, seriously, be proud of yourself. Thanks for joining me again, and I'll see you in the next video.